What's up? What's up? <laughs> Mark. Amanda. That's right. Your favorite fitness couple. I'm the favorite. Well, I don't know. You accent, <laughs> you accent me pretty well. I do. We compliment one another. Compliment. We're compliment. We adapt. I probably don't want to get too close. I just had my protein shake. Yeah, no, that stuff makes bread. Yeah. Dang. Ugh. Tastes really good, though. What's our topic? Our topic today is adaptability. You know what that means? Nope. You don't know what adaptability is? Mm -hmm. Let me enlighten you. i got a feeling we're about to find out. You're about to find out. Do you consider yourself to be adaptable, number one, when you find out what adaptability is? And are you good at it? Is it necessary? And is it helpful, beneficial? Okay, so adaptability is being able to kind of blend in or fit into any given situation. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, or kind of adapt to your, like a chameleon. The surroundings, right? Like adapt a chameleon, you just adapt to your surroundings. So when we go to the gym, if I go in and I'm busting out 35 pounds each in each hand, what is that, 60, 70 pounds in what, dumbbell press or head press? Yep, dumbbell presses. Um, and then my shoulder gets inflamed. And it's like crazy achy and hurt do I quit no I go back whenever it's shoulder day again I to go light kind of warm up I test and see if I'm able to lift like I normally would and if not I adapt so what I do is I go a little bit lower in weight and do what I can without it causing you know if it's not excruciating if it's excruciating obviously you don't do it if it continues, like if the buildup gets worse, obviously I would back off from that. But, and it's just like on um, where the shoulder's bad and it kind of raises up. Mm -hmm. I have learned to adapt to that because this arm has overcompensated and gotten a little stronger. So, I'm doing, what are we doing? One arm at a time? Mm -hmm. Isometric. Isometric. Or isolateral. <laughs> Is that like that meme that's come out? Like, I love your accent. Say it again. Isometric. Isometric. <laughs> Isometric. Uh, anyway, but adaptability. So, do you consider yourself adaptable? Yes, because I'll, I'll give you an example. When I was in the uh, my first week at the police academy, which was 23 weeks long, I hurt my shoulder trying to sh show off. Or, I was ego lifting. Because you were the older fella there. The oldest. Oh. At 37, I was the oldest in my class. Yeah, yeah I was the old man. So, anyway, I uh, pretty sure I tore a rotator cuff the very first day benching. Oh. I benched 300, tore a rotator cuff. First day of a six month training program. <laughs> Ow. So, I worked around it mm -hmm. for the next six months, the next 22 weeks. I modified my push-ups, modified my benching. I went back down literally to the bar, and I started benching the bar, and I was able to adapt and um, work around my injury. And basically, I mean, you have to, if it hurts, you don't do it, but you can do other things to help strengthen the muscle. So I still worked my chest with right. some other movements and all that, but I really had to modify my uh, my push-ups and push-ups were a big part of our training now on that note though like if it hurts don't do it that's simple Different first injuries, aid right. however hurt doesn't mean you have to quit excruciating versus like you you really need to scale that because i'm on a scale of one to ten is it a ten yeah. don't do you it know, obviously uh, to be honest i pr it, it was a unique situation I didn't. If I would have went to the doctor and they would have found out it was tore, they probably would have sent me home. Uh -huh. So that, I mean, that's why I wouldn't advise doing that. But it, it is an example of me working around an injury, mm -hmm. and I, I, I made. I did suffer a little bit, but I did most of the exercises that I did did not injure it further. Right. But they did hinder healing probably a little bit. But I did do work around movements, and I did not quit. 
And I still wouldn't quit. And even like the little bit of aching that I'll have, it'll it'll start to get full of blood. It'll start to ache just a little bit. But I don't stop because it doesn't hurt. It aches. There's a difference for me. And that's where individually yeah. you have to scale that. If your doctor says don't do it, obviously you may want to go with what the doc says because they're the professional. And you have to, and adaptability also, just like you this week, you were at a hotel with one piece of equipment and some med balls. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Yeah, that's a great that topic. That's a, you adapted, way to you were adapt. able to adapt to that the small gym, that little, mm -hmm. that, yeah. And use the, like, use what I have. Very limited. On a limited, yes. Yeah. So did I quit just because I didn't have access to a gym and dumbbells and all of that? No. I did basically the same movements got just as good a workout with just what I had and I made it work so yeah. I adapted so how many that. times do you hear people say well I'm going on vacation this week I don't have anywhere to work out or whatever mm -hmm. that's just that's just an excuse you're kidding yourself truly yes but you know what let's even go a step further than that adaptability in that okay so we go to the gym right we work out that's kind of our thing and that's what we really enjoy doing sure for mental health for physical health for overall just sense of well-being it also togetherness for our relationship and things like that so there's lots of good things happening but with adaptability too are you adaptable in life because if if something were to happen with my job that I couldn't go to the gym with you between the times that I go during my lunch time I would have to adapt to that I would have to be able to adapt to that rather than, oh, God, there's a crisis, and then the stress happens, and then I'm freaking out, and then, you know, after that, you give up. So you've made this point several times, so many of it. That's the reason that keeps us kind of out of the gym is because, or keeps us from working out. We don't have time. Um, time is a huge factor. Yeah, but you got to be able to adapt to what you have if you're able. Mm-hmm. Um, there are some people who are not as easily adaptable to things and those people have higher stress levels Their physical health is is more impacted um, If you're just kind of that easy going eh, It is what it is. It'll be what it'll be That might be detrimental too because then that's where people give up. It's like I don't give a shit. Right. So so at, at the end of the day, you know, it's not if it's a lifestyle for you um, you're gonna find a way, you're gonna mm -hmm. adapt, you're gonna use that small hotel gym, you're gonna take a set of bands with you that you can pick up at Walmart for 10 bucks mm -hmm. and take with you and do something. Um, but if it's not, if you're if you're gonna look for an excuse and you're likely gonna look for an excuse at home too, to mm -hmm. find a reason, well, I'm not gonna work out, I'm not gonna do it. Um, and that, that's up to you, it's, it's, it's your lifestyle. Right, but, but what, it also speaks to character, overall character. Right, and, and it's up to you. If life. you've made the decision mm -hmm. and this is what you want, don't let something like that stop you. Be, what, what am I trying to say? Have the ability to, to adapt to mm -hmm. your surroundings and uh, think outside the box. Yep. And uh, there's a, where there's a will, there's a way. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We love you. Hope it's been informative. And not boring for you if you if you've boring. even made it this far to video right. <laughs> later <laughs>